guys, my partner currently just got back from shopping. So I'm going to show you our food haul for this week. So we have bought two packets of six white pita breads, some garlic and coriander naan breads. We also have three packets of basmati rice and three of Mexican style rice, some kitchen foil, two tomato and basil stirring pasta sauces for a quick simple meal, two packets of milk chocolate chips, some tomato and mascarpone sauce. We also have a bag of penne pasta, we do have a little bit of pasta left in the cupboard, some mini bananas, a large packet of strawberries and a honeydew melon. Two packets of vine ripened tomatoes, some Maris Piper potatoes, two yellow and two red peppers and a bag of mixed leaf salad, two iceberg lettuces and some tomato and basil pasta, two cooked chicken breast, some satay sticks, pork pies and some creamy coleslaw, hummus, savoury eggs, chicken tikka and two packets of 5% fat minced beef. Bacon and some streaky bacon. Quiche, Lorraine and also this week a crustless quiche which you've never tried before. A mature cheese, creme fraiche. Ten British eggs. Two packets of halloumi cheese. And then some yoghurt drinks which are the flavour. Um, I can't actually see a flavour. Mm, they are oh multi fruit which I'm assuming is like a tropical fruit mixed fruit and we also did buy some nappies a five plus for my little boy for night time but they are non food items now we are going to go on to the meal plan so now this part is the meal plan and sorry if I keep looking down but my meal plan is actually on the table in front of me so this week I've got six meals planned and then we have one day where I leave it free for leftovers or if we just want something that we fancy that day. Um, I'm not too sure if I said but this shop is from Alda and it costs around £55. This will feed my family of three for a week or just over. So I'll tell you what meals we have planned. So we're going to have chicken curry and we actually already have the sauce and the chicken in the house. We bought packet rice in case we fancy some quick rice but we do have cook oil your own rice already in if we want that and we also bought some naan breads to go with the curry next up is jacket potato unfortunately we couldn't get hold of any jacket potatoes so we got maris piper potatoes and i'll just bake them instead and we're going to be having them with fillings like tuna and sweet corn and mayo or beans and cheese and we'll do a side salad with that um just quick simple meal Another quick simple meal that we've got this week is quiche with beans and chips um, which is actually a fav one of our favourites in this house, um, love a bit of quiche. This week we've actually got a crustless quiche which I've not tried before so I'm hoping that that's nice. And then we're going to have pasta carbonara which I either do normally with orzo but I might do it with a few silly or penny because that's what we've got in the cupboard so it's just using up what we've got and we make use of the eggs, the creme fraiche and the bacon. Norm normally I do put some chicken breast in it as well and then we'll use spices and whatever we've got in the cupboard. I also have some parmesan in the fridge already but if you do want me to do a video on how to make the carbonara because I know everybody does it differently um, then I will do just let me know down below. And also this week we're going to, I'm going to do a sticky sausage tray bake so that's just sausages which we already have in the freezer with some potatoes and some chopped up veg and then I'm going to cook it in chilli jam and some seasoning and just throw it in the oven um, so it comes out all sticky and crispy which is a nice one and then I'm going to do a burger in the bowl using the 5% fat mince and some salad and I'm either going to make my own burger sauce or we'll have it with just whatever sauce we fancy and then also in this shopping we got some stuff for lunches so whether that be wraps sandwiches we've got some pita breads we'll have make pita pizzas or we'll just have it with meat and salad and um, we also like a picky plate in this house so we've got savory eggs which my son absolutely loves and then we also got pork pies cold slaw hummus which we have with cucumber and peppers and 
that's about it really. There is a bit of fruit in there which we use for breakfasts and snacks but we do need to do a top up sh shop on snacks like crisps and snacks for my young lad which is Theo who is three. Um, when we do do that normally it's at B&M so when we, someone does pop out to B&M then I will film that. Overview of what I got from B&M and I'll show you a little bit closer. So we got some reduced sugar normal Vimto and I also got the Remix Raspberry Orange and Passion Fruit which I absolutely love. We got two banana milkshakes, two strawberry milkshakes, two packets of rye vita that fell out of the bigger packet but they're just the original rye. We got some brownie chocolate fudge munchies and finally I found the mint Maltese buttons which I'm absolutely looking forward to because they sound lovely. We have got two packets of sweet chocolate hob not hobbies, nobbies, nuts. I got Theo uh, like a velcro we catch ball, some tomato ketchup, two packets of kinder chocolate which is Theo's favourite, some mint skinny whips which are absolutely beautiful. We got some spaghetti because we're running out. We've got two packets of super noodles, one in barbecue beef and one in curry. We also got three of these cheese nibbles to make kind of like a homemade lunchable with some ham, which you should enjoy. We've got 10 beef burgers. I also got some dry shampoo because who can't live without dry shampoo? I also got a purple hair dye, which I'm excited to use. We also got some multi purpose fibre cloths and some fabric Febreze air freshener so that's what we got and it came up to around £38.